Good morning guys, back out at my field finally, I'm battling showers again. Every time I seem to come out it seems to start to shower. So this is going to be the remaiden of the FX61 here running the Speedy B F405 flight controller. Uh, basically everything's set up from its last flight more or less. I might do an auto tune on it again, we'll see how it's going once it's in the air. Not a lot of wind here, so I'm a bit concerned about the launch side of things. I've just lowered my spin-up time a little bit here just to try and catch the plane a bit early because it seems to like to dip uh, because it's running the 10,000 milliamp lithium-ion pack. But yeah, worst case scenario, I've got a nice downhill slope. Usually it picks it up pretty well. So what we'll do, let's get her up in the air and um, I'll give you a bit of feedback and my thoughts and how it seems to be. So far it's running, uh, we've got, we've picked up 13 satellites. <coughs> um. uh, that's about a takeoff. So currently just sitting just under half throttle. It's cruising along beautifully actually. I'm a bit reluctant to do a sensor loud. Reluctant to do a an auto tune if I'm happy with the way it's flying. I don't see the point, but currently just got it in angle mode. Auto level. Sensor last. Absolutely beautiful plane to fly. This is, is it's for anyone who hasn't seen previous flights on this craft. It's running a Speedy BF405 flight controller now from its previous flight controller, which was a um, sorry about that sunlight. Previous flight controller was an F411 wing which it had in it, which served its purpose, but lacked a lot of functions. Um, it was due for a good upgrade. It's also got the new uh, airspeed sensor on it too, which is actually showing 97 kilometers an hour. I might just lower the throttle back down a little bit more here. Telemetry lost, telemetry recovered. And it's also got the digital, a digital airspeed sensor in it now from an analog. Three minutes. We'll gain a bit of height. We might just check out. Let's loiter again. Make sure everything's good there. Angle. Position hold. Okay, I've got it in loiter now. I set my loiter radius up to 60.
Sensor lost. Four minutes. Okay, I do notice a few lines in my FPV feed here. That's probably due Telemetry to lost. due to the Telemetry fact. Recovered. The lines in the FPV screen are probably due to the fact I haven't got a capacity yet on the, on the ESC. Okay, so that's Loiter. Loiter works beautifully still. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. I might do, I'll take it out for a bit of a bit of distance and we'll try a return to home. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Five minutes. Angle, angle. Return to home. Okay, return to home is activated, so it's climbed up to 80 metres and it's now on its route back. I can see it just in the sky up there. Yeah, she's rock solid, beautiful. Absolutely impressed. I love it. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. What I don't like is a telemetry lost, telemetry recovered coming in quite often. I've telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Played around with that quite a bit. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Alright, so we're back out of that. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Six minutes. Because I'm not going to make this one a very long flight, as there's no point. Craft is basically proving to me it's better actually it feels better dropping the spin up time with the launch seemed to be better lost. too telemetry recovered sorry about the telemetry loss guys i've been trying to get rid of this and clearing it up but having no luck so i kind of know where why well why, why it's doing it but i don't seem to be able to get rid of it Alright, I'll bring it bring it in for one more pass and then we'll we'll come in for a landing. I'll check some temperatures and um, just wrap it up. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Eight minutes. Disarmed. So, as far as I'm concerned, that was un that was awesome. Felt very lovely in the air. We'll just take it over. I'll just do a quick temperature check on some things here. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Ground's all wet. It's unfortunate. Which isn't real good for the airspeed sensor. Sticking right out there. It's an awesome plane, the FX-61. I know a few of you guys watching videos have one. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Shut up. Okay. I'm just going to turn that off. Some 
I'll just do a quick temperature check on a few few things. Let's see what we got here. So flight control is at 30. ESCs is only at 35. 35, it's it's not even not even warm, barely warm. And the motor it's probably the hottest. No, the motor's only at 30 as well, so there's it's pretty awesome. Yeah. 34, 35 roughly, and battery <clears throat> is only at 27, so nothing's hot at all. Fantastic craft, guys. And as far as the Speedy B goes, that was a pleasure to um, install and a fantastic upgrade over the F411 wing. Um, what I'll look at doing next with this is um, pulling some log files off and adding a bit of telemetry to some of the flights. We'll look at doing some waypoint missions, I think, next. So anyway, guys, what's happened here? Hello, we've lost a... That's interesting. Where, how did that come off? Interesting. That's really interesting. We've lost our... Huh. How would that have come off during the flight? Anyway, I've got a spare one at home which I'm going to have to put in. Although that's probably still working anyway. I just don't know how that's come off. Really interesting. That's the, uh, the video transmitter. Aerial has lost its lost its um, outer. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't think it came off in landing. I'll have a look. But yeah. Anyway, other than that, I'm going to give it a bit of a wipe down because it's a bit wet and. Um, Call it a call it a day. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Stay tuned. I'll be doing more with this craft because it is, I think it's my favourite craft that I've got in my fleet. But I wouldn't mind getting its bigger brother, the Buffalo uh, set of FX79. It's a two metre wingspan. This one's a 1.5. So that might be on the on the shopping list next. Anyway, guys, have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.